Let's start tube bending work. Read the tube bending plan for tube bending work. Cut the tube with a tube cutter. Measure the tube length from the tube bending plan. Plan says the tube needs to be bent on the 5.51 inch point from the end. Check that 4.27 inch from start from the neutral line on the tube. Consider 0.07 inch of the flaring length and add 0.07 inch length on 5.51 inch length. Insert the tube in the tube bender. Set the dimension line under the L mark of the bender. Bend the tube 90 degree with the tube bender. Place the bent tube on the plan and check for the proper bending. Mark 5.51 inch point from the neutral line of the tube. There could be two types of plans which the line starts from the neutral line of the tube or starts from the surface of the tube. Ready for bending the tube with 45 degree. Set the dimension line under the 45 degree mark on, of the bender. Make sure the tube has to be strength lined before bending. Bend the tube with 45 degree. Place the bent tube on the plane and check for the proper bending. Calculate the diagonal length of the triangle. Diagonal length of the triangle is around 5.56 inch. Mark 5.56 inch point from the dimension line on the tube. Set the dimension line under the 45 degree mark of the bender. Make sure the tube has to be straight lined before bending. Bend the tube with 45 degree. Make sure the bent tube does not move on the table like this. Ready for flaring work. Insert tube in the flaring bar. This tube diameter is half inch. Tube should be trotted around 0.07 inch from the flaring bar. Match the line on the flaring bar and row on the clamp screw. Screw the clamp screw and hold the tube. Turn the T handle in clockwise and start flaring. Turn the T-handle in counterclockwise to remove the flaring tool from the tube. Ratchet is provided from some T-handle pad. Tube end has flared now.
Remove a burr on the tube with the blade on the tube cutter. Make sure to read the plan carefully and finish the correct way of bending work.